In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. O God, by your grace, your servant, Father Orius, enkindled with the fire of your love, became a burning and a shining light in your church. Grant that we also may be aflame with the spirit of love and discipline, 
may we ever walk for you as children of light, that our lives may reflect your loving radiance, and let your light shine in every word that we say, in every action that we do, in every choice that we make, and in every noble cause that we commit ourselves to. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ayan. Hello, hello sa inyo guys. And of course, how's everyone today? Ayos lang ba po tayong lahat? Hello? 
Very good. Okay, I hope you're all up for an afternoon of factual teas and details. Now, before we proceed, let's have first our director for student and alumni affairs deliver his opening remarks and rationale for today's session. Please help me welcome Reverend Father James Michael M. Abellionosa. Mayong hapon. Sorry, I was told by the director to stand here to be seen in the Facebook Live, so I have to be here. May hapon, ma'am. Um, dear students from the college and from Pueblo Senior High School, and those of you following us through live streaming, welcome to this afternoon's talk show on drugs, alcohol, and tobacco. This is an inter-office activity of the Office of Religious and Alumni, uh, student of Students and Alumni Affairs, the Office of Religious Affairs, the Guidance Center, and the Medical Dental Clinic of the University. These types of substance abuse seem to be so serious for a talk show. For a serious topic, no, a talk show. Pero, we recognize that we need to talk about these matters that affect the lives of people. We recognize as well that a multidisciplinary approach to these concerns, a multidisciplinary approach really, offers a better way forward. And thank you, Dr. Romilo Hibirnas, Dr. Joshua Paul Gamalio, Honorable Judge, Paisa Tangunan, for being with us and sharing with your expertise to us this afternoon. For the rest, those of you, students, and all of us here present, may you have a wonderful afternoon, continue learning, and all of this we do for our, to pursue the vision and mission of the university informing all of us to become people who contribute to the wholeness of the society. With that, thank you everyone. Enjoy the rest of the talk show. Thank you. Thank you so much, Father. Okay, so we already have um, met, maybe, maybe not. But before everything else, we have a pre-evaluation link posted on our Facebook Live. So it will be pinned on top of the comments. Please fill up the pre-evaluation link, okay? So now, according to the National Institutes of Health, substance abuse is one of the top problems in the country where it came to the point of being one of the top priorities in the government's agenda. In a 2019 study of the same institute, Source from the Dangerous Drugs Board reported that there are over 1.8 million Filipinos users in the Philippines. Please do take special note that these statistics were taken almost four years ago. Okay, so what makes it a leading problem in our society? How are we protected from it? And what can we do? for those who are suffering from it. Good afternoon and welcome to our talk show on substance abuse, drugs, alcohol, and tobacco. Live from FSUU CBE Hall, I am Maria and I will be your host for today's session. Konting palakpakan. Ayan. Okay, coming from different fields of the respective expertise, we are graced with the presence of not just one, but two medical practitioners and a respected judge. Let's all welcome our guest this afternoon, a medical specialist from the Treatment and Rehabilitation Center, DOH Caraga, our very own physician at the FSU Medical Clinic, and a judge at Regional Trial Court, Branch 33. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Dr. Romulo Ibernas, Dr. Joshua Paul Gamalo, and Honorable Isa Ekem Tangonan. A warm of applause, please. Ayan, hello po sa inyo. Good afternoon. How are we feeling this afternoon? Yes po. Yes po. How about you, Dr. Hello, hello Maria. Yes. Thank you for that introduction. <laughs> okay. um, we're fine, we're good, and we're very excited to share about substance use disorder and, and able to um, educate also the... Um, students as well as our live viewers today. Okay, thank you so much for this. So this will be an afternoon. I hope I really hope everyone's paying attention. Kay mag quiz daw ta later. Yes. Mag quiz da later ha. Bantay perfect dapat. Very good. Okay, how about you, Dr. Romulo? Yes. How are you feeling? I, I really feel good. Um kay kalipay that you have this kind of activity. 
And uh, I'm really, really glad that you have that curiosity about uh, substance, dis uh, substance use disorder, especially uh, drugs, alcohol, and tobacco. And it's, uh, it has become co very common nowadays for, for young generations like us. Kasali tayo doon. And um, nalipay kayo ko. And I'm very, very excited on, on whatever I can share in my experience in the clinical practice, in the, in the, in the field of public uh, health, and, and whatever, uh, as a father, as a friend, as a, as a, um, as a friend who have friends uh, na mga, we, we call them person who use drugs. Um, so whatever, whatever comes today, um, I I'm really hope and pray na I can deliver what I, I should, uh, what, what the mandate of our office, Para sa inyo ha, to prevent you from testing the, the substance, uh, illegal substances in the market today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. But how about you, Judge Hello. Isa? Hello. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. everyone. Actually, this is really a great honor and privilege to be here. Um, uh, while you, you were singing the FSUU hymn a while ago, I was really paying attention because I'm already part of the FSUU Faculty of Law since last year. So it was the first time I, I heard the, the hymn and it's very good. So first of all, thank you for inviting me. I'm really looking forward to this because speaking from a mother myself, I have a teen, also a teenager. So the, I want to impart my knowledge together with uh, my distinguished um, um, members of the, speak, the panel this afternoon, but in whatever way I can share as a mother also, and of course in the legal field, what is happening now in the courts. Um, while before the program started, me and Doc were, were talking that we are, it's alarming that the drug cases are now again rising here in Butuan. So I'm looking forward to this talk show. Thank you for inviting me. Okay, so it's not just knowledge that they will be importing, but I believe you will be also importing us your personal experiences. Okay, I hope. <laughs> Pero Doc Epoy, I have a chica about your personal experiences. Uy, kulbaan! Kay ang talk about what substance abuse on sa DI. Pero I've heard before, Doc Epoy, you were yes. a governor. You're a student leader. Ah, uh, yes. So before in my college days, so I had my BS Biology in Caraga State University. So since then, I was a student leader. So I ran for vice governor. And then after a governor, and then... Yeah, I was a student leader and also I'm pro students. Nakulbaan ka dok. Well, <laughs> coming from a ano pod, student led leader, of course. Um, kinsay student leaders diriya, na ba tay student leaders present? Taas ka mot, or kinsay aspiring student leader din hi a. Agui nagtino kluray. On sana man eh. Oi, very good. Okay. Now, let's settle down and let's move on to our Q&A na guro, no? So, ready na ba ang mga guests nato karong hapuna? Ready na? Come on! How about you audiences? Ready na? Ready na? Hala, very low energy. Ready na? Ready na? Ah, sige. Okay, so Doc, I hope everybody listens, okay? And if you do have some questions later on, we will ask you, okay? And now, Doc, Epoy, so for you or from your professional point of view, what is addiction and how does it differ from one substance to another? So, um, good afternoon once again, no? Once again, I'm Epoy. My, my friends and family call me Epoy, but I'm really... Joshua Paul. So, so for the question, what is addiction? So, actually, there are a lot of definitions that we use in psychiatry and medicine in order to stratify and classify our patients and treat accordingly. So, first, let's define um, dependence. So, what is dependence? Dependence is the continuous use of drugs or substance. Let's say, for an example, you're a chronic smoker or a long-term smoker and you smoke every day and you feel like you are dependent to it. So that's dependent. Now, um, addiction is the increased use of the substance. For example, you are dependent to smoking and then you increase the frequency, you increase the dose, you lesser the intervals of smoking. 
Now, that's addiction. Addiction is you smoke today with one smoke, tomorrow you smoke two cigarettes, then the um, next day three, four, five, six, seven. And it goes on and on and on because um, your tolerance for that substance will also cope up by your body. No? So that's addiction. So for the question, um, how does it differ from one substance to the other? So actually, one substance can be more addictive compared to one substance. For example, cocaine is more addictive compared to shabu. So um, nicotine from cigarette is more addicted, uh, addictive sorry, com as compared to an alcohol. So that's it. Oh, okay, I see. But um, addiction, is it safe to say that addiction is also a behavior? Actually, yes, addiction is more like behavior. Some says it's like a brain disease or a mental health disorder per se. Okay, so now speaking of brain, so what part of our brain doc is most affected when we are, you know, addicted to substances, to such substances? Mm, okay, are there any nursing students here? Oh, there are. So actually, you know, um, if you talk about brain neurophysiology, it's very complex. Actually, the, the most complex organ of the body is the brain. No? So the brain has many neurotransmitters. This includes dopamine, opioids, etc. And this dopamine and opioids specifically are responsible for making you feel happy for a little bit moment. No? You feel happy, you feel energized no? for a little rush of... Um, uh, surge of that substance. Now, sorry. Okay. Now, we have um, this, uh, this um, one little small part of the brain called amygdala. So the amygdala is responsible for your emotions. No. If you take drugs, your amygdala produces or excites you that you become more happy, you become more energized, you become more like euphoric. Uh, in a nutshell, you, be, you become euphoric. So that's, that's what's happened in, um, in addiction. So actually, um, yeah, as Maria said a while ago, so um, this substance abuse disorder can also be classified as a brain disease because um, as, we, as humans, we have rational thinking. No? We know what's right, what's wrong. But when it comes to addiction, those persons who are addict per se or... Um, People who use drugs are more compulsive in taking drugs. For example, um, you have a family member or a friend who uses a cigarette, and then he was or he or she was convinced to stop uh, smoking. No, so kana ang smoking, maka cancer, maka etc. No? there are a lot of physiological effects. So he or she decided to stop, and then suddenly, if makita siya smoke, no. There's an irresistible urge to smoke again. That's, that's addiction, no? It's, it feels like it's out of his or her control, no? Um, it's like you have the rational thinking that, no, I'm going to stop because it's wrong. It's bad for my health, for my mental health, for my physical health. But still, you are taking that substance. Okay. So again, pop quiz. What part of the brain is responsible for emotions? Wow, no me no. Okay, Kuya one. Okay. And another doc, I have another question here. So why does a person continue to use or misuse drugs even when they understand the impact of doing this? Because in my experience, um, back when I was in high school, Mang God, um, almost every year, nakapandak o drug prevention nga symposium and such info drive. So even if um, some um, some youth are knowledge knowledgeable about this. Why do they continue or even attempt to use these substances? Actually, there are a lot of factors. No, it could take maybe around a month of a uh, lecture or a whole book of um, this because it's substance abuse disorder is very complex. No, but to sum it up. It's because of two factors. First is psychodynamic factors, and second is biologic factors. So psychody psychodynamic factor, first sub-factor, is the masturbatory equivalent. So studies have shown that people who use heroin also have the same feeling as having a sexual orgasm. That's why 
people are also addicted to porn and masturbation because it feels like you are taking drugs. You feel like happy for the moment. You feel euphoric. That's first. Second is the defense against anxiety impulse. So as student, no, we have um, quizzes, we have reports, we have exams, etc. And those are anxiety impulses, no. And um, for for you, um, one defense mechanism is to opt to do drugs instead because it's a defense mechanism that um, you won't be able to um, experience the stress of the, the the anxiety impulse from school. That's second. Third is um, disturbed ego. So that means no people who are taking drugs usually have a lot of problems. No, usually in 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 the Philippines comes from a dysfunctional complex family of problem. No financial problem, etc., etc., etc. So these people who are taking drugs have disturbed ego function. So what happened is they will create their own reality from this reality. So this is the, their re reality now, no? that they have disturbed um, uh, fa family, that they have um, uh, fam uh, financial problems. So they, they do drugs as a gateway to another reality. That's another. Fourth is operational conditioning. Operational conditioning means that it's also the approval of peers. No? So as the saying goes, the same feather flock together. So for example, no, nakay barkada, for example, nagyosi na sila. No? So ibang barkana nagyosi, maapil ka sa ilang adik ka magyosi, you feel left behind. No? OP kay ka, out of place. No? Badoy, KJ, etc. But if you smoke, no, you feel like you're welcome, you're more close to them, etc. So that's one reason. It's peer pressure. No, that's also called the operational conditioning. And lastly, we have conditional, I mean, classical conditioning. So if you have, um, can say education students there. Are there any, oh, educational students know about Pavlov's theory of classical conditioning. No, katong irel, ring ni mong bell, and then um, the bell is associated to the food, and then ang iro maglaway na siya pag makadungo ng bell. That also applies to humans, no? For example, magkaon ka og lechon. Dabo magkaon ng lechon nga walay cook, di ba? Murag it's it's the association of lechon and cook, no? It's not because it's impossible but it's always there, it's being associated. That is also applicated in in psychology, usually in drugs, no? Now, smoking, alcohol and marijuana are associated with each other, no? Pag mag-inom na gani, on si Paris, chaser. On si Paris, pulutan. On sa pagyod, papawala sa loob, sigarilyo. No? And then, if wala yung sigarilyo, no? weed, no? smoke, joint, etc. So those things are associated. So those are the psychodynamic factors why people are continuously using drugs despite them knowing the side effects. No? Isa ka pulo silang makadaot pero unsaon man mao magin ni ang mga factors. Second is biologic factors, no? It's nature in nurture. Nature, so studies have shown that alcoholism, alcoholism runs in the genes. Yes, alcoholism if you have um uh, family history, if your father, your mother, your grandfather is an alcoholic, you are more prone to be an alcoholic compared to the other. Okay? But it is less conclusive to other drugs, just alcohol, no? So, wala yila in reason, it's not biologic if you take drugs, but it's psychodynamic factors. So, that's it. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Pag-ingon. I'd, I'd like to add Ay, okay, further, yes, po, oh, para to make interesting uh, the subject more interesting. Uh, let's go back to the definition of addiction. If you, res uh, if you search it in the Google, kabalo ko, gisearch na ninyo eh, prior to this... Uh, to this, uh, to this talk show, no? uh, it's a chronic relapsing. It, uh, it, it means na dugay na o magbalik-balik na siya. No? Uh, chronic relapsing disorder uh, characterized by um, seeking, drug seeking and use amidst or despite na, na um, adverse consequences. 
look at it. So, burag maugi na ang kan, uh, first nato ma, ma, matanaw. So, ibig sabihin, um, if you use ones, especially shabu, no? Uh, th because that is very common now in, in, our, in our locality, especially shabu, mas ikaisa na na mo gamit. For instance, so, ito lang siya i-derail gamay, naatay mga cellphones, you have cellphones, TV, television at home, okay, um, any gadget for that matter, okay, uh, addiction affects our brain. And then, ato na siyang i-compare with, with our gadgets. Our gadgets contain the, the motherboard. That motherboard is our brain, okay? Pataki na og isa ka drop of water. What will happen to the gadget? Disconnection. So mag-ground na siya and then our brain magkaroon ng disconnection. Pag nag-disconnect na siya or sa wiring system, so dili na mao ang transmission na na sa imuhang messages. Pag di na na mag-transmit og tarong, so what will happen to our gadgets? Pag i-on na nato, so you probably mo on pa siya pero dili na siya parehas katong sa before nga katong fully functional siya. So siguro kung phone na nato mo on, na nai na nai linya or karat na kung sa TV inana kumbaga matud pa sa mga pasyente na nagamit og droga yabag na dok kay pag ano mo sa radyo yabag naman siya di naman siya makuan that's what happens to our brain one drop of uh, one drop of shabu then our brain disconnects and ang kapait pag yud ana uh, okay lang sa radio uh, sa radyo sa mga gadgets nato kay you go to the repairman and then, ma-repair na po na siya, di ba? Ma-repair na siya. Ilisa na niya kuan, mga IC and all and everything. Pero sa brain sa tao, kung sa may ilis na ito, Ana, brain sa ilaga, <laughs> di ba? O brain sa... So, dili siya makuan. So, all the, all the factors, i-factor into na ito, gisulti na ito ni, ni Dr. Kaganina, katong mga psychodynamics and everything, um, these are already uh, katong mga factors that affect our addiction, no? And ang manifestation po, Ana, is very similar. Kay, it's a... Uh, kung others, other na mga diseases like tuberculosis or cancer, the physical body is diseased, right? Kung mag-ubo ka na, COVID ka, imong lungs man na ma But for addiction, what happens is that your brain, kaganina mo, itong nag-disconnect siya, it will shrink. No? Dili lang kay sa shabu. Pati na siya sa alcohol o sa tobacco. Mo shrink na siya. Nga ganahan mo gamay yung utok. Maliteral na guru na maingan o gagmay utok. Oh, no? <laughs> Maliteral na. na noon siya. Oh. And then, we don't want that, di ba? Pero iskuan kayo na siya ka ng discriminating ka na. But that is the reality of the physiology. So, pag mo shrink na siya, and then, that's the physical adverse reaction, that's the physical effect, but ang pinaka-pangit na adverse reaction is our behavior because our relationship with others will be affected. Kay lahi naman ang isulti ni mo, lahi mo habuhatun. Kisa may mutuo, Ana, ang tao. Asa mang integrity, asa ato ang credibility yung integrity, Ana. That is why na um, for some reason, uh, for some reason, kani mga illegal, illegal and some socially acceptable na mga substances, uh, kaya chronic relapsing gani, the body will seek for it because of the euphoric feeling. Kanang lipay kaya ta, nindot kaya ito ang paminaw, kay tungod, mauman ang iyahang effect sa ito a brain. ba? So, and then, Inaanit pag ang effect niya. And I, I think uh, our judge can, can relate to this. Um, once makatake na siya, no, um, the, the question is, ano mo take mang yun? Sakto tong ni, ni ni Dr. Kaganina na because of peer pressure, because of uh, mga certain dynamics in the family, certain dynamics in the, in, the, in the school. Okay, let us stratify what we are seeing in the drug treatment rehabilitation. No? So one one stratification or one group of uh, patients are 
ibutang nato siya sa mga nabilong sa students. The students, shabu for, for that matter. Nga nung shabu man? Because the psychology there is that once you have shabu, you have dopamine surge. Say mo alawas. Brain na anak din natin. Euphoric dopamine and mga serotonins and all everything, the hormones and the neurotransmitter in your brain. What will you become? You will become genius. You will have so much energy to mag-play ng basketball, mahimo mo sikat because maka, maka, maka shoot man. And pag mag-study, all everything, sulod na siya because of that effect of the shabu. But and yet, mo shrink ang imuhang brain. Ganahan mo, ana. So, kana sikat mo, pero pag abot sa tumoy, di na mo sikat. No? Pag human chronic relapsing, sige gamit, sige gamit, di. Inyong brain, inana, one kilogram. Later, ana, one gram na lang na siya. Bura na siya brain sa ukuk. Inana, ana. So, kana siya, no? And then for, kung makagraduate man galing sa college or sa high school, kay kung na, na, na hook na siya dito, then nga na magtrabaho na po ang katong ang katong ang, ang kanang mga trabahante they will again seek for that uh, shabu kay because they needed energy to finish a job remember di ba uh, kung inana ang ato ang coping we use these substances to finish a job and then siguro initially mahuman-human na nila ang trabaho but eventually siguro kung painting na din ha Kung ipapinta na ni mo, white tanan, siguro at the end of the week, dili na na siya white, kundi multicolor na siya, abstract na painting na noon ang gawas. Kana po ng effect, no? Kay ma-alter ma ma man ang ato ang brain. Disconnect gani, di ba? Disconnect. Ang, and it, kani pa ang kapait, ana? Ang katong pasyente nga nagagamit og shabu or any illegal drugs for that matter, wa siya kabalo sa iyahang ginabuhat. Bura siya zombie, actually. Just like sa ato ang mga gadgets, pag nabasa na siya, kisa may nakabalo ang gadget, nga yabag siya? No. Di ba? Wala. Ang kisa may nakabalo, nga yabag, or kanang karat na, or guba na ito ang gadget, ang katong nagtanaw. So kita to ang katong family, or ang friend, na nung naunsa naman ni iyahang, ang iyahang dynamics, na, lahit naman ni siya. So, and, and later, Uy, bro, cool lagi ni siya kay makashoot naman, haud naman kay musayaw, kay wala, full of energy. Inana. And then, nganha na po din ang peer pressure. Inana na. So, ma maingan na po no, kay, da, da, di ba, the psychology, kay, gan ganahan ka. You want to be popular, you want to be sikat, you want to be genius, you want to finish the job because of money, mga inana na kuhan. So, and for that instant, for that moment, okay ka. But, Sooner or later, once the body, especially the brain, will shrink, so what will happen to your behavior, to your attitude, your integrity and credibility? Mawa, sab, kay, lahi naman yung mulihok, sulti ka karun din he, unya, dili na ni mo tumanon, masuko, yun, di ba? Di ba, in Ana? So, that's, uh, I think, the addiction that we don't like to happen sa atuang tanan nga naa din ni karun. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, to add also to the to the statement of Doc a while ago, with the shrinking of the brain, insofar as the criminals that are now pending in court, sometimes mag mangutana mang ko sa ila why they are taking drugs, and then th their realities are already clouded, Doc. And then some of them, um, muna din sila makahimo og another cr crimes, like they go to ganang mangilad na, they mangawat na, mangmatay na, mag Kurt car napping, mag rape na. So, really, the root cause is the drug addiction because their realities are already affected. As like what Doc said, ma shrink ng ilang brain. So, kanang wala na sila natural um, examination of what is right and wrong, no? Because the nash nigamay ang ilang brain. And one funny thing also, I noticed from the drugs, uh, persons who use drugs in my court, in the, in the courtroom, Doc, kay mga pangag sila. No? Mga, basta isa sa mga indication sa gagamit o druga kay pangag. So, bantay ginin yung mga ngipo, no? Because of this substance, Uy. no? Kay ma-shrink ma ma ganing ang brain labaw na ang teeth. Kay because of the chemical that is used in the frequent use of the drugs. So, 
bantayin na inyong mga friends kung napangag na. So, ma, isa na na sa indikasyon nga nag-drugs na. Hindi na bantayan <laughs> daw kaya nakamask man. <laughs> gamask man ka rin, no? Pero common yun, common sa mga persons who use drugs, uh, their physical appearance and also their their dental health are affected because of the uh, hard chemicals that are being used. Yes, I'd like to support that uh, the, 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 what, what Judge has said, uh, just told us. Oo, ang, ang physicality, katong makita na ito, mamukuan na siya. Nani mga features good sa Labina for Philippine setup. So, isa na siya, pangag. And then, there's another one nga kanang na siya yung mga, mga lihok nga wakaka ticks. Burag, makalitlag ana, unsa ba, ang naong, mukuan. Because these are the physical manifestation. Remember, kaganina ka itong dimension. What will happen to the brain? Diba? Mo shrink man siya, no? Labi na ang kanang kitawag na itong katong prefrontal. Kani siya, ang prefrontal. Uh, Kana siyang pinaka-affected kay mawa man ang yung judgment. So, mawa yung judgment. Di na siya kabalo mo, mo process sa iya thought. Kaya anything will just, okay ra siya, kung pangit siya, yaut na siya, dagway din na, pangag na siya. It doesn't matter to the patient anymore. They don't have any regards to their physical wala appearance na. now. Wala na. Okay, do you have any regards to your physical appearance? Makulbaan tapag mo ingon mo, no. Balag, pangit daw, basta hilas mo ng drug users. Uy! Uy! Sige. Okay, thank you so much po, Doc and Judge, for your inputs. Now, back to you, Doc Ipoy. Okay po ba ta? Yes, of course. And Gaina, we um Dr. Ramal also mentioned that there are some socially acceptable na mga substances. What do you think are those? Allah wala na nubag. Sige, ako lang mo tubag for now. So I think those are alcohol and tobacco. You know, smoking, cigarettes. Okay, so these are easily accessed by some. And they are also widely used. So what are some of the negative consequences of alcohol and smoke use? Um, so for the side effects no, or the negative effects of those substances, it could be stratified into acute or short term and chronic which is long term so let's start first with the short term so no so for alcohol no most of the acute or um, short term side effects are road traffic injuries you know um, a lot of the consults of the er in the emergency room are um, due to uh, lacerations abrasions traumatic brain injury due to multiple uh, motor vehicular accident because the patient, or I mean the driver, is alcohol intoxicated. Now, for cigarettes, the acute effects are, um, it can exacerbate asthma and COPD. It can also um, higher your risk of upper respiratory tract infection. So, kanang sige kag ubuhon, sige kag igamigham, kisig panigarilyo, not only you, but also the people around you, because the smoke dissipates, di ba? And also, it affects other people. So, that's for the acute. For the chronic naman, so the chronic is the long-term use of these substance, substances. And the side effects are categorized into um, physiological. Those are the side effects felt by the body. And psychological. No? It, it also affects the mental health. So, for the physiological, you know, uh, as we know, cigarette smoking and alcoholic drinking is also associated with higher risk of cancers, no? Lung cancers, liver cancers, no? And some, all types of cancers, no? And also it affects our kidneys, our livers, and also, especially non-communicable disease that, that um, includes hypertension, no? High blood, no? Um, dyslipidemia or tasim and cholesterol. And, um, um, Heart diseases and etc. and etc. The list goes on, no. And for psychological effects, naman, no. Um, these substances can actually affect your mental health. Smoking and alcoholic drinking are associated with mood disorders. Mood disorders such as anxiety and depression. And um, these substances are also linked to um, antisocial antisocial personality behavior. That means that your behavior also is affected by smoking 
and by drinking alcohol. Oh, okay, dog. Now, um, aside from those um, drugs, whether they are legal or illegal, because we have over-the-counter medicines, di ba po? Um, can they be riskier than taking only one drug when we combine them? Hello, Mike Chess. There we go. Okay, of course, if we combine one drug to the other, of course, um, it will be more dangerous as compared if you are taking only one drug. You know? So, let's say, for example, you are taking Shabu. So, that's what I said. It's, it's all about association. So, Shabu, manigarilyo pa ka, maginom pa ka. So, those um, side effects are combined together. And therefore, it's more dangerous, of course. Okay, now we... I'd, I'd like to add that uh, this, is, this is also very common among mga uh, shabu users, especially who takes the, the alcohol, the alcoholic beverages. Initially, they're just uh, having fun with alcohol. Alcohol, siguro, uh, bata pa, teenager, and then... Kaya lang, ang, ang side effects sa alcohol is madrunk man ka. You'll pass out. You, you'll pass out. So, pasabot na i, i, katawan ka sa mga mga friends or sa mga family. Inana. So, the coping there, kabulo ka na judge, magsyabu sila para din sila ma. Di sa katulog. They, they will survive the gimmick. Di ba? Uh, very, ano, very alarming. They will survive the gimmick. They will survive the, maunang mga, di sila mga hubog ang kanang nagasyabu. And later on again, Alcohol can shrink the, the brain. Pat yun man niya ang ato mga dendrites din ha, mga neurons din ha. Samot na with the, with the, with the shabu. So, double, double whammy. Kung shrink, inanarakad na kayo mga brain, mas mugamay pag yun na siya. So, kaya be careful. No? Be careful. Uh, if you're already drinking alcoholic beverages, as much as uh, kung karun pa lang, biyain na na siya. Or be aware. And this is the right time na karon na 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 matuto ta. We will have to learn from from what is uh, the reality is going. Ganahan mo, mo ato mo sa sala of the of the judge later on, ha? Maghangyo hangyo na mo dito kay judge isa, ana. So so kana siya. I, I just like to experience uh, to to share that experience nga. Na mga pasyente, they don't want. This is very common. They don't want to get drunk. That is why they take shabu. But again, burag naasale addiction sa alcohol more than sa shabu. Ana. So, but they cannot combine. Uh, usually, they don't combine uh, alcohol and marijuana. Kay tulog magin sila ana. Kaya daot magin sila ana. Pwede na sila dread so na na sila sa lubganan kung ganahan sila. Malubong na sila ba? Kaya masaydi sa kamata. And then kung pwede pa siya mag -over, uh, drug overdose. With shabu and shabu and alcohol, alcohol and shabu, overdose siya, mo nang taas kayong blood pressure niya, bam! Stroke or heart attack. Kabata-bata pa, mag-stroke, mag-heart attack na dahil sila. Nga, ganahan mo, Ana, ang inyong pangandoy, maka-mansion pa mo, maka-tour around the world pa mo, wala, Ana, kahit tungod, dedo naman mo, because na-stroke na, okay lang kung takong patay na diretso. What if ma-stroke pa ka with paralysis, deficit? Yeah. Tulo tulo na imong laway buhi ka pa, di ba? So pangit kay sa tanawon. Ano? Okay, understand that. Now, did you get that, students? Agoy. Asa di ay mo pa dong after exams. <laughs> mo only then mag koan. Mag rest. Kagi ka po ilang brain, di ba, students? Mm. Ni agi put bayan mi pagkastudyante no. Yes, of course. Now, I have one last question for Doc Epoy. Now, as an avid K-drama fan, la, K-drama fan, pero di naman guru-guru na siya ma-under addiction, no? Kana magsigtan o oh, K-drama? Ma-under ba nag-drug addiction, Doc? <laughs> di man guru, di pa man guru, makontrol pa man ako. <laughs> makontrol pa man ako kung urges. <laughs> pero beta, Doc, um, I'm also fond of watching medical K-dramas, but I don't really treat it as kanang medically accurate good sila. Kaya there are some inaccuracies mangon in dramas. Para exaggerate lang good niya for the sake of entertainment. But 
when they treat a patient mong good, they always tell their patient na do not drink alcohol or take anything else when you are taking this medicine or taking this medication. So, um, can they lead to serious health problems po? And why? Uh, so, it's very common, no? Siguro, you heard a lot of um, these stories na nga. Pag mag-inom gani, eh, pag nagani kayo tumaroon nga tambal, bawal ka mag-inom, no? But we don't know the reason why. So, here's why, no? Alcohol is metabolized by your liver, no? 90% of the metabolism of alcohol is by the liver, no? And one of the function of the liver is to uh, excrete the medicines, no? Because the medicines, when you take it, of course, it has half-life, meaning unsa lang iyang effect, no? For example, let's say 18 hours. So 18 hours lang na siya magstay in your system. But if you will take alcohol, no? Because you are taking alcohol, the alcohol is excreted first. Therefore, the medicine will stay longer in your system. For example, the half-life is 18 hours. Because you are drinking alcohol, it becomes like 36 hours. So, um, the, the duration is longer. Therefore, it has more uh, toxic effect. Therefore, leading to serious problems. Can this be also applied to over-the-counter medicines and not just prescribed medicines? Yes, yes, of course. Um, especially mga paracetamol, no? um, kanang mga pang -nyozep, no? kanang even mga common drugs lang yun because it is metabolized by the liver. Okay, so bawal kita mag-inom of any medications. Miss kan pag over the counter, counter tapos isabay ninyo og inom. So no no siya. Sorry, I'd like to point out no. Um siguro naka-experience sa sad mo hangover no from grabe nga inom, binge drinking. Pagkaugma, sakit kayong ulo, dehydrated, luya kayo, sakit ang lawas, feeling nimo di naka gusto mo inom otro. And, kung sa tambal, sakit sa ulo, sa puy-puy ang lawas, di ba? Kung sa inyo, biogesic, biogesic, or paracetamol, or mga, basta kung sa nga tambal. And that actually can destroy your liver. Because nag-drink ka, the night prior, yung nag-inom ka tambal, good luck. <laughs> okay. Pag-inga mo tanin mo, Dok, ato, Dok, dadaghan ka ayoy nag-take note, paspas kig sulat sa ballpen. Agoy, basig maura inyong sulat sa inyong notes, ha? Okay, so that's it for Dok Epoy. A round of applause for Dok Epoy, please. Okay, thank you so much. That was really informative. And that is the overview on drugs and other substances. Now we'll go over to treatment and rehabilitation. And we have Dok Romulo for it. A round of applause, please, for Dok Romulo. Okay, hello, Dok. Good afternoon again. So, very informative kay si Doc Gaina no nagit siya mga input. So, di nagit nato siya mga question. Nga nung naa siya din hi. Uh, ang mga question, good luck. <laughs> okay, Doc, can you tell us what may drive an individual to turn to substance abuse? Nga naman, Doc, aside atong na-mention Gaina po. Yes, um, remember, ang katong dimension ka ganyan ni Doc Ipoy. Um, uh, there's a peer pressure, kasagaran, ka na siya peer pressure kay well, this is based on the first. Uh, this is based on the experiences of the different, a lot of experiences of uh, a lot of our patients uh, that we've seen for the past 20 years. Kumbaga, ang most common answers are uh, wa sila kabalo, misinformation, initial initial use na siya, misinformation. They do not know how to use. But inani ang introduction. Use this one para di ka matagaw. So, pang atik ba? Murag na ay deceit. There is, there is a form of deceit. On the other end, ang katupong one person, kay it would take only one single use to be hooked to the, to the drug. Ma-alcohol ba na siya, ma-yosi ma, ma ba na siya, ma-shabu ba na siya, o marijuana. But my fo our focus here is ang katupong mga illegal substances. Kay we have a law for that. So, it just, um, kana siya, Pressure because there is misinformation. Borag dunga na siya. Wa siya kabaloon sa effect, pero na pressure po siya because the friends are using. Inana. So it just take one single use. Remember, kana inyo hang cellphone. Pag nabasa na siya, yabag na dayo na siya, maupun na ang atuang utok. And then next would be, stratify na dayo na to. Okay. 
kung batan o na siya, then there is a pressure of, I want to be a superman. I want to to fly high so that I can shoot. Kay basketball, sa sports. Ganahan ta sikat. And what particular uh, uh, condition na ma-achieve na siya, achievable. However, ang katong natural process supposedly is maminaw ta sa ato ang coach kung mag-varsity ta. Kay we need to build our, our skill from, from zero to 210% to 1,000%. Mag, Magpakawan ba ka ng step by step or step ladder so that we become so expert and then mas nindot na siya nga klase nga evolution. However, i-shortcut man na nila with the use of, most especially, shabu kay tungod, daghan man sila energy. Because mo po na ma-offer, kagani, gimension bitaw to kagani na with, with so much, uh, with, with one single sniff of uh, shabu, daghan na yung dopamine And then remember that dopamine and other neurotransmitters will make our brain so stressed and so 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 powerful so na sa brain na nan eh na sa una una kumbaga nga sikat ka pero maka shoot man pud sila kung performer pud sila kanang sa dance sa singing so maka perform pud gyud sila di ba burag katawanan sila burag mahapi ka kay bizarre man ang ilaha mga lihok ilaha mga behavior ana so kana sa mga sa mga students artists ina na ako an kana nga category because they want to to be accepted by their peers they want to be to, to excel in their field for that moment in time. So, murag, dali ra na siya, automatic na makagamit din sila, and, uh, and then naapod sila yung misinformation. Now, on the other hand, katubong mga palahubog, ang, ang, ang ilahapong reason for use is para din sila mahubog. Kaya katawanan man sila kung mahubog sila. And besides, kung sa mga gimikan, Kung sa may mga gimikan karon diri sa butuan. Last time na ako'y... Wala, Diyos ko kabal. Na, na pa yung mops na? karon? Asa na dapit? Katood mo, asa na? 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 ba? Oo. Akong nabalang kay Kananan. Ah, Kananan. Oh, kan Kananan siya, di ba? Hmm. Uh. So, kanang mga disco-disco, di ba? Ah, you remember that? Ato ka sa disco. And then, uh, teenager like us. Na, pero ganahan na... I, I want that guy, I want that, that beautiful lady nga mapansin ko. Kanya kung hubog ka na, kung sa may katawan na kaugma din na, kaya nagsuka-suka ka din na, nagkamang-kamang ka din na. So, again, there is another pressure na to use Shabu, kaya para genius na po ka. Anything under the sun, pwede ni mo istorya on, mag-English speaking na ka din na, and then tomorrow, bam, kalimot po ka. Mara ginana. So, shrink na po din mo brain. So, that's one sa mga palahubog, sa mga bisyoso. So as much as possible, tanggala na because it's not really helpful in our life. Labi na sa inyo ha karon, no? Kay progressive pa na inyo hang career later on. And then another category dito na ta sa mga productive, graduate na mo, trabaho na mo. So especially kani siya sa mga sa labor sector kay oh, uh, yes. lahi pa sa professionals ha. Uh, later kani mga professionals man o mamahimo ni mga manager executives labi na sa ato ang mga labor sa labor sector because laborious man ang work there is hard work physical work kamo mo trabaho ba mo under the heat of the sun para magpintal dito sa roof who can survive that di ba kung ikaw magpatrabaho ana then uh, burag oh, bayaran ani mo sila but who will perform that so um, most of them will perform that, will grab the opportunity para lang makwarta, ipakaon nila sa ilahang mga anak, sa ilahang pamilya, so that para to survive, para dali ramahuman, kay pakyaw sistema na siya, they will take na naman, shabu, just one for... Niya, pag, uh, pag naana sila, inana, sa dopamine surge na po, so much energy, human. Pero ang trabaho, di mao. Ang pikas, puti, ang isa, red or black, inana di man mao ang koan kay lahi man gyud ang ilahang ang lahi man gyud ang function sa brain ana and then for professional one sa mga kuana pud sa mga executive there is again pressure and then kung nagtake na na sila og shabu in the past then balik na pud na siya because ang tawag ana sa mga pasyente nato multivitamins kay true enough dopamine surge daghan na ka energy ma genius ka ma bright ka and yet ang performance, okay man, pero ang credibility, tanan, wala gihapon. It doesn't warrant kay tungod 
mali-mali naman ang inputs, Ana. Just like um, making your paper, your thesis pa, haud kay na siya, gwapo kay ang mga narratives dito, pero ang ipa, ang ipa thesis dahil sa imo ha is like dogs, ang imo gisulat dito, fishes. Pero nindot kay pagkasuwat. <laughs> Mali, off, off track yun siya, para inana. So, those are the, the what I can, I can tell you na kani ang mga existing, pre, ang mga pre-existing conditions karon in our, in our community nga why they, they, they use these illegal substances because of this uh, psychology of this want. Dili siya need. Well, ang uban daw musulti need kay pakan o nila ilang family kay they, they they use kay para mahuman nila trabaho and they, they can have that income and that income maadto dito sa ilang family to buy food. But again, this is addiction. This is all about the the works of the illegal substances in our brain para i-deceive na niya para lang na para lang na, na, na to, to feel that euphoria and to feel that burag adequacy in our life. Okay, thank you po, Doc. Okay, Doc Romolo is affiliated with the Treatment and Rehabilitation Center in DOH Caraga. So, Doc, can you give us a glimpse or can you share to us, to our audiences, what happens when a person gets admitted na yes, sa rehabilitation oh, oh. Burag, center? Uh, ganahan pa-admit dito? <laughs> oh, I'm sure ganahan sila ani after judge ko. Uh, ay basta lang uh, ayaw lang mo uh, muabot sa sala of the judge. Kay naman tay condition na, na later siguro explain na ni ni judge. Maghatag lang ko gamay na ano. We have um, various types of uh, classification of our patients in our in our center. But the the common nowadays is muaga sa muagi sa sala of the judge kay nadakpan man sila Nadakpa, they, they committed a crime. So, di na ko na kayo siya ma-discuss, but uh, uh, later, si, si Judge siya mag-discuss, Ana. So, one ang kasagaran dito, nakakumit sila ng crime, and then, uh, they find their way for treatment. Uh, as for me, no, as a medical professional, um, a practitioner for addiction medicine, uh, I, I see it as a, as a disease. Kaya mention nga ni Doc ganina, it is a disease. Even sa definition dito sa, sa Google, it's a disease, it's an illness. No? Ang, ihalang, ang ihalang symptom or yung adverse effect is makakumit siya ng crime. So now, so kung ma-admit man, ma ma -admit man ang patient dito, what happened is that um, just like any other disease or patients nga nasakit, kung madengge ka, hilantan ka, kung i-admit ka sa inyong parents, ato ka sa hospital, i-entertain ka, the nurses, the health professionals will be there to 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 attend to you, to your needs, inana. Kaya lang uh, in our law, uh, six months lang na siya, no? Uh, six months minimum na ang kanang admission. So now, um, but di ba uh, kaganina balikan to nato ang katung daot na gadget. Pag i-repair na nimo adula ka sa repairman, maayo na siya. But for our brain, na mumubalik na siya sa iyang original size, it wouldn't take one minute, two minutes, inana, or a second. It would, science ni siya, it would take a, a longer period of time para maka-recover, recover po na ang ato ang brain. But sadly, dili na inana, yun ka tong back to the original. Just like our cell phone, uh, pagka-repair, Ana, dili na po na siya original, di ba? So, Ana, so, now, when you are in the, in the, in the center, um, you will have to undergo certain phases. Kay, kay, pull out man ka dito sa imuhang natural environment before, di ba? Kay, ngato ka sa, sa, sa vices ni mo, kung asa man kadapita, sa inyong community. So, pag-abot ni mo sa, sa center, upon admission, you will spend uh, 10 days 10 days sa uh, ang tawag na mo ana reflection room or uh, re reflection period you will fra, uh, in the reflection period pwede ta mag detoxify na sa inyo ha kaya bura siya paradise actually because you will be feeling the, the, the all the pumpers in your life dito sa sa kana nga face uh, first day to to second day at uh, to to tenth day then after that uh, reflection phase or medit med meditative phase then uh, you will all, you will now be endorsed to the treatment and rehab proper katong gitawag na program however 
dili pa dayon nga ingon nga salang na dayon ka dito or kanang join na dayon ka sa sa ilaha mga affairs but you will again be introduced in a in a manner na mo, ma, ma, maniid sa ka sa ato ang mga existing na mga uh, mga resident, residents dito mga patients so you will undergo the induction phase or kanang ginatawag na maniid lang ka tanaw tanaw niya na naakay naakay mantra na balik-balikon and or and then na po orientation kay naman ay certain laws and regulation a uh, culture nga gina build within the facility um, within the the program and then when you got uh, get inducted uh, dawaton ka na sa, sa sa community then you will uh, be on the face of the crew face so just like in our life na nganata sa balay pag magtubo ta no from from childhood and then dagaan na dayta responsibility pag teenager ka na kabalo na ka mo lungag o ka nang huma uh, ka nang bugas or mo prito and then after anak kaldereta na then lechon ma, na na kay faces kay what we are trying to do there is that um, since our brain shrink shrunk kumbaga and then our behavior has become so dysfunctional dito ato na siyang simulate ang environment na na to build you to to form you to mold you to become a better person kay para pag discharge na nimo you will be pre uh, you are already prepared to face the realities the adversities uh, the adversaries in in our life pag abot na kay na po yung mga certain realities din na ang triggers ang kanang ang kanang uh, ang mga friends ni mo before nga wala pa na natambalan mga inana so so kana nga face ang dugay-dugay din nga face would be ang junior and senior face uh, there is a particular period of time para ana and then mura po na siyag eskwelahan kay you will be taking examinations you will be assessed by by your by your foster father or foster parent kay just like what I mentioned, nga, bura siyag family, bura siyag simulation of our life. We, we are a family there, gina simulate na siya. And then from there, pag naan ay assessment, um, pag okay ang imo assessment, makita na sa mga doctors o mga professionals, you will be handled by the way, not by one person only, by a doctor. No? Dili lang kay doctor. There's a lot of professionals nga naa dito or and experience na mga, na mga, mga health workers. You have a doctor, you have a psychologist, you have a psychometrician, you have a social worker, you have uh, even uh, an engineer nga, nga into, the, into the passion, and, and then you also have uh, PWDs, mga patients before that are recovering. So, gikan sa ilahang personal experience, they can become so much uh, help sa kato ng mga pasyente. So, and then there is a daily activity Kumbaga, initially kaganina as uh, before coming here napa ko sa center ang ang feeling dito sa sa pasyente or ang iyahang illustration is just like um, you are living in a paradise because uh, you are being honed you are being formed and molded to become a better person at least mo na ang kanang ato ang ang outlook nato sa center Dili laba, dili rabalalim ang ma masakit, right? Kinsa may nga sakit na diring mga kanang physical ailments lang. Di ba pangit kayo yung ato ang feeling, labi na kong dengue kay burag kamat yun na kaana. Ang sa addiction is a uh, entirely different. Remember it's the thought, it's the it's the process, it's the brain ang katong naay sakit ana. So pag abot ana dito um dili pud siya ingon na sayon ang intervention but there is some form of um, simulation of the of the certain realities na i-prepare ang katong patient when he gets out uh, he is a better person than before okay Anna. thank you so much doc and of course um speaking from my personal experience back when i was still an intern yes um i was an intern at during the pandemic nisia so it was all online but despite it i also had an experience with a drug and rehabilitation center in davao city yes um in there we learned that throughout the treatment there diba, it varies from center to center how they will do the treatment so the over there ilang treatment pang good is they usually ask the support of the families of the patient 
So, um, if you are, um, sa inyo ha, Doc, dito sa, dito sa inyo hang work, beto, Doc, do you usually involve the families of the yes, patients? Yes, oo. Um, nalantay some difficult, uh, difficulties, Anna, before. Because the, the family, the families, uh, they tend to look at it as a crime, or a criminal, or na ay discrimination. Even our society, tapag tanaw nato sa mga uh, person who use drugs, uh, they're, they're not ill or deceased person, but uh, a person who, uh, burag, di ni siya ka nindot na mga tao ba? Yes. Uh, criminals, burag inana. But, um, so the fam, na ay difficulty, Anna. Um, so what we do, we are, we've realized kay difficult man ang rehabilitation sa patient kung dili involved ang family. And and again, uh, the, an, another an, another reason is the cost. Remember, our taxes are paying for for our patients, inana. So, ang six months minimum sa pasyente to stay in the in the facility, you, you will feed the patient. You need electricity. You need um, water. Kaya maligo mo puna sila. Uh, sabon for hygiene. So oftentimes, ang government kita ang nagbayad ana for them, and then we wanted the, the help of the family also. Masika na lang support, but but uh, that's the minimum. However, ang ang pinakanindot na support from the family is that they are part of the integration of the recovery of the of the patient. So what we do is uh, we reach out dito sa mga sa family, uh, especially sa labi na kung tagalagyo kay Surigao ang center tapos ang uban na apa sa sa Agusan Sur, diri Agusan Norte or Surigao Sur. So we reach out and how we do how do we do that? We have social workers who who reach out or mga person mga ano po, mga personal who are who are reco drug uh, recovery. So they go there and then they educate the the family with regards to the condition of the patient. And luckily, what happens, taas ang atua success rate nga ma-involve ang atua family. Remember, kanang same family na na siya, mo nang maglagot ng mga family kay sila mo po'y atik-atikon na ito mga pasyente na to while they were addicted pa, while in the, in the vice. So, kisa may ganahan mo support daw kunuhay ana, di ba? So, so kana siya mo nang uh, when they realize na, ah, this is a disease. Kaya what happens is that mo-develop mo pa po sila og sympathy and mo-develop pa po sila og empathy. So that's why na basta mapasabot lang, uh, mo-support pa po sila dayon. Okay, it's good to see that with a little bit of understanding, it can come a long way, di ba? Especially if we are really involved with our families. Like even if not a little problems lang, if not a difficulties, it is such a relief that you are able to open up to your parents or even to your siblings lang, di ba? Di ba? Okay. Now, um, Doc, were there cases where minors were, were involved? Uh, yes, um, we have, we had, had minors na, na involved and, and two, uh, two, Two uh, not not just cases, uh, not cases no, but two classification. Okay, there are minors na voluntary, ana. But uh, again, in the Philippines, usually they commit a crime bago sila ma, ma admit yun ana. So mo na ang mas common minors who are using drugs or abusing drugs and then they commit a crime. That is why ma addon asya sa court. However, it's not that simple ang ilahang admission. Why? Kay namatay balaod protecting our minors no kanang mga kita nga mga bata na below 18. So, uh, yes. inaprotektahan ug gyud <laughs> kanunay sa atong balaod. So, what will happen is that muagi pa sila sa they will have to course through the sa social workers sa atong DSWD and then they will ha, they will they will issue some endorsements and then there was one time na muagi pa sa, sa parole and probation, even to the sala of the judge, and then saka ma-recommend sa, sa, sa among facility. So, how do we treat them? Similarly, ang katung, ang katung program, again, um, there is the medical, the team, the, the whole team na, na mu-manage anak dito sa, sa pasyente para lang siya nga ma-recover. 
ang ang kanindot lang for the minors well i'm not encouraging you na na into into the into the to the vices no but um pag uh, sakto lang ang support sa family murag paspas man ang iyahang treatment and rehabilitation so murag mas taas-taas bud ang iyahang ang iyahang success rate ana so but uh, I, i do not wish na mudaghan pa ato ang minors but again I am so worried because um, uh, I, 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 I feel na burag wala kay kay ginabuhat para i-reach out dito sa mga minors like you. So that's why kini nga forum burag nindot ni siya but this is pila ra mani sa isa ka tuig kas ara and then there's a lot of minors in outside this this room this facility. So mo na ako ang worries ana kay because um, dito sila they are very vulnerable they are very risky sa sa, sa use of these illegal substances in ana okay thank you so much dr romulo so i really hope that we can further advocate for this kind of thing I, yeah it's very relevant especially now in the times that yeah cases are still rising in butuan as it was mentioned before now a round of applause for doc romolo ayan thank you so much and now we have our judge nakulwan ko kang judge <laughs> Wala man kuy, um, wala lang. Wasig na lang kuy ma wrong din hi. Uh, oh, murag ya, patas ing aircon. <laughs> Debeta. Okay, so hi Judge Isa. Hello, hello, um, our, Judge Isa lang ba ko itaw sa imo? Right, yes, uh, it's okay. Kay basig ma wrong tag address. So sig huy, uh, ma wrong ka din hi. Okay, so Judge, what law or laws protects us from, you know, this the harm of the substance po? Okay, under our present laws, the, um, the applicable law now protecting drugs is the RA-9165. It is the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. Wow, murag na lagi nag recite to. Ah, hello, kawai kawai kinsa to. Perfect. So unsa tong Republic Act ga protect sa ato? Perfect. Mga namino, gida ay sila, Judge. Okay. So, aside from methamphetamine, do you know what is methamphetamine? On sa mana? On sa to? Shabu. Okay. So, shabu, as is street slang, what are some of the most common substances or dangerous drugs that the youth get involved in? Okay. Um, the, the recent PIDEA report the number one drug being used in the country is really shabu, methamphetamine hydrochloride, followed by marijuana. And then second is ecstasy. The third is ecstasy. And then mga party drugs. But here in Butuan, speaking in the locality in Butuan, I think 90% of the drugs that are now being tried in court is involving shabu and then second ang marijuana i i haven't handled yet mga cocaine or party drugs which is good no it's not wala pa din sila nakaabot din hi sa abuntana dili mo makaabot dili na makaabot din sa <laughs> yes one. okay thank you so much for that now when proved on violating this law agoy magpa-quiz ra ba ko later kulba ana kay if proved on violating this law because we still presume an innocence Basta mo na to siya, Judge. <laughs> okay, when for violating this law, what are the possible criminal consequences that they may face? It depends upon the quantities of the drugs involved. But generally, it carries a penalty of imprisonment, a fine, and of course, you have to undergo mandatory rehabilitation. It is considered already a, a form of penalty, Doc, no? Because some of the persons who use drugs really do not want to go to rehabilitation. I don't know, for some reason, ano, di sila mo adto o parehab. Okay, it will, they will, some, some sort, it's sort of imprisonment gabon because if, depending on the severity of their drug use, some of them will stay in the rehabilitation facility for at least six months as discussed by Doc a while ago. But generally, when you are caught um, selling uh, drugs, that's life imprisonment. And then when you are also found in possession of drugs, it also carries imprisonment and a fine. Okay, no possible bail, but Doc. 
<laughs> oh, when you are charged for Section 5, that is selling of illegal drugs, there's really no bail in that. So, a prison nagid mo for the whole duration of the trial. But when you're only for uh, found for illegal use, then there is an option for rehabilitation. And for when you are found for illegal possession of drugs, depending on the quantity, um, some um, persons who use drugs can, uh, can bail, some are not. Okay, thank you. Um, if allowed, po, no, can you tell us what was your most unforgettable case as a judge that involved substance abuse? If allowed, po. Okay, so um, uh, as mentioned by Doc Ganina, no, this really drug addiction is not a problem for um, all walks of life. Good, I I can um, mention kanang mga from poverty and even mga rich class of people. So this reality of a drug problem really happens to everyone. And one particular case that really struck me the most, anyway, it's a, I, cannot, I will not disclose the name naman, is a particular teen, teenager. I think he is of same age like you, mga 22, 23, he is still going to school. And then his parents are separated. His mother work, is, works uh, as an OFW. So you can imagine, daghan siya kwarta per me, kay padadan sa mama, no? And then his father, uh, unfortunately, all separated from the mother, na anapod siya in the family. And then when I asked the child, na nag drugs man ka, langga? So, ingon siya para mapansin ko sa akong ginikanan. So, true enough, ni uli ang iyang mama from, I think, Italy. And then, ang iyang papa po ni anha sa court. So, kanang inga na kasad ang reality, no, na ang mga bata noon, nag-drugs, kay napabayaan sa mga ginikanan. But uh, really, our parents are not perfect, no? We are not defined by the mistakes of our parents. Kabalo na ta nga dauta na siya. So, especially, we are grateful for this opportunity nga naatay mga forums like this. Kaysa una, wala man ko kadumdum nga na forum ani sa... Matanon pa ko. So, we are grateful for your school. Grateful mo sa inyong school nga gituluan mo ging ani nga mga venue na kanang ma-open ma up ang inyong realities nga kabalo na gid mo conscious mo nga dili man na siya insakto. So, even um, your parents are uh, have mistakes, kamo, dili na mo dapat mag-engage ana kay nakabalo na mo nga dili na insakto pero gani na daghan kayo reaction sa mga inum-inum no i was also once a teenager like you and may enjoy man gitag inum-inum with friends but ago uh, grabe ang support <laughs> but i'm not um, i think siguro um, it's normal it's a stage in your life you also enjoy your your time with your friends pero choose your friends wisely Isa lang din sa ako mga advice no na kani magud atong mga friends mo ni mondamay sa ato or at the same time mo ning magpa magpa elevate sa ato sa ato ang status kani of course kani kay when um ako sa mga mga drug addicts nga naa sa court uh, according to the studies do kay buhatan man na sila profile they started taking drugs at a very young age so sa inyong mga teenager so Really, the peer pressure starts with you, uh, starts at this age. So you just have to filter. You just have to know who your true friends are. And be, and pinaka importante, and listen to your parents. Bias kay ko, no? Because I'm a parent myself. Pero, syempre, ang mga parents, wala gay parents na gusto madaot ang iyang mga anak. So, once we listen to our parents, we become good people. Alright, palakpakan para sa ating parents. Mami, now yun sa atong parents because yeah, they have a lot of experiences in life and they're doing their very best to provide the best for you. That's why you are here. Diba? Asensya na bias si Mami. <laughs> bias kay ko, pero ano gid ano gid ang tinood no when although kani man gid nga stage no this is really the period nga kanang medyo kontrabida si mama no or kanang kontrabida si papa syempre we are just doing our part na mangita mi so na may oras mangita jud mi syempre sa atong mga anak kay we do not want something nga uh, mahitabo sa ilaha so bisag we appreciate if mag text lang mo na ma i'm on my way home or ma i'm on my 
I'm with my friend. E nga na, at least makabalo lang si mama. Tapos na, kung nag-storya lang sa akong, mga, akong anak ba kayo, syempre, coming from my own experience, this is really the stage nga, medyo difficult. But constant communication to the parents and to the child uh, really works. Yes, it really works. It also builds trust within your family. No, so pag mananghid mo nga na mo sa inyong friends, make sure put nga na mo sa inyong friends, ha? Ma, nag-project mi ma. Asa mo nag-project na? Kilid sa guys ano ma? Agoy. Oy. Okay, thank you so much for that, Judge. And now, for the youth who are in trouble with the law, or maybe in general na lang po, um, do they have their options, you know, and can they get back into society? Of course, um, Nagi, uh, of course, but maybe some of you here are na nalulong na sa bisyo or padulong pa lang. Kanang, there's still hope, no? Coming uh, sa ingon na ni Doc ganina, the, the government is already spending a lot, especially for drug treatment and rehabilitation. And it is also provided for under the law to strengthen the drug rehabilitation program because at the end of the day, drug addiction is a sickness. Sa gingo, explain na nila ganina. So it's a sickness. At the end of the day, what they need are treatment and rehabilitation. And the court also uh, is agreeable to that. In fact, we refer these drug persons who use drug for drug dependency examination. All right. Thank you so much, Judge Isa. A round of applause for Judge Isa, please. Thank you so much. And now for your parting words, Doc Epoy, what are some healthy ways to cope with anxiety and depression? Um, so for anxiety and depression, especially in this um, age group, no, in the teenagers or yeah, naman eskwela pa, etc. These people are more prone to um, anxiety disorder and depression, especially um, nowadays um, due to um, several platforms like social media, etc. So I just have to or um, share a story. Back way in college, I have a close friend. No, I have a very close friend, and in college, now si Gimeguban, sumpay mitinae, etc. And um, we graduated last 2017, and um, ako ang valedictorian siya ang salutatorian. No, uh, <laughs> anyway, after five months, no, after five months, he died. He died because he had depression, and that's. That's the reality, no? He's a good person. He's a bubbly person. He's very energetic. He's smart. He's, there's no sign of depression because depression is a mental illness, no? No one can decide na you will have depression someday. If you, are, if you have risk factor for depression, please, my message is reach out. Because if I reached out to him or he reached out to me, the path or the course could have been different. No. So first really is if you feel like you're very anxious, you're very like you feel down, if you feel like you know that um, you feel like wala nagi padunglan ng life, no, etc. Because you know, depression is a mental disorder, no. Mental disorder means it's a real disease. It's not naran asimong ulo or naragihunaw na ranan nimo. It's a disease. It's like you being born with um, congenital anomaly. For example, gianak ka gwalay isa kamot, di ba? Mabasol ba nimo ang tao nga gipanganak siya gwalay isa kamot? That's also the same with depression. People with depression are high risk of having depression. No? That's why if you have symptoms of anxiety, of panic attacks, depression, just reach out. First, reach out to God. You have to pray, pray harder, lot of bargain, read your Bible. Second, reach out. Reach out to your family. Reach out to your mom, reach out to your dad, reach out to your siblings. Just talk. No? They will help, of course. Reach out to your friends. And if you are a friend of um, a, a person who has uh, symptoms of depression, also help them. Lastly, is reach out to professionals. No? Because there's a stigma when a person goes to a psychiatrist. 
no pag wato gani psychiatrist ana buang na na wano silingan ana buang na ni baka do do no psychiatrist no there's a stigma but don't um lose hope and kanang ayo ka ulaw nga matug psychiatrist because mental disorder is a real disease no and lastly go out go out somewhere because people with depression tend to isolate themselves no maglak sa kwarto no mag mag isolate na lang no mag share usa so go out no na mag mag enjoy ka sa mong self go somewhere enjoy yourself no mga kuan ka no i treat ni mo yung self etc etc so the best thing to do really is to reach out there are a lot of people that are willing to help you no you're just clouded with your emotions nga wala kay pulos nga wala na pag-asa that's why you don't reach out but there is always hope okay thank you so much doc so yes yes a round of applause thank you okay so this is it may be a sensitive topic for some but we are here to educate and to give a new perspective on these topics because it cannot stay sensitive no if it's not talked enough then it's not given enough attention it's becoming a really big problem and a serious one at that. So yeah, if you're feeling a little lonely, if you're feeling down lately, then you can also go to your counselors for support. And you may process there. Diba? That's why we are there for you. Okay? So it will stay just between us. No need bumaulaw. If you're ready to talk, then we are here for you. Okay? Okay. Now for Doc Romolo. Um, where should one go or who should one reach out to if he or she is experiencing anxiety or depression? Yes. Um, that's why uh, earlier, uh, because uh, in all my excitement coming here, um, I, I talked to one of your staff or sa faculty and the, the nurses, uh, the school nurses, and I asked them na, who are the, the participants? And because I, I'm not too familiar uh, with, the, with the setup here in your school. And then uh, I asked, na, uh, where are they coming from? So I'm actually profiling the, the, the participants, you. Um, and then I, I've learned that uh, uh, college and then senior high. And then, and then I, I asked, na, do you often have your, that, this kind of advocacy? Getting, getting forum like for substance use disorder or drug addiction and then you had this before and then because um, this type of illness is is a mental disorder so just uh, what doc have mentioned earlier so the the spectrum of the mental disorder is all about the psychology it's all about thought processing it's all about our emotions and feelings um, these are not tangible. So, ibig sabihin, dili ma makitaan, dili ma kung hilana, ma temperature check na ni mo with thermometer, or uh, kung hypertensive ka with the uh, blood pressure, dili ma there is no device, kumbaga, to, to measure it. And then, um, so, basically, what I was thinking is that, uh, are, are the structures present for for patients or for, for individuals like you, now whenever you have um, a, a low moment or a happy moment in your life, naabatay uh, kadangpan. Do we have someone there to, to listen or to talk to? And I'm happy nga that we have peer facilitators. Yes, we do. Yes, uh, that's congratulations. <laughs> and I think that's one basic, uh, one basic structure that we can have. Back then, in, in, my, in my high school, high school pa, uh, in our school, uh, we have this peer counseling society, PCS. So, at, a, at an early stage of uh, first year high school, I was already pre-selected na mahimo po ko ka ng, uh, peer counselor. And I, I didn't really know na kinsa itong mga ginaselect. So, but again, we can be, uh, all of us can be peer counselors. Kumbaga. So, what does it mean nga naatay peer counselors or naatay kadangpan? Kay, whenever we are lonely or we, whenever we feel anxious, depressed, or whatever have you, um, that's a real condition. And then, 
ang uban dili kasabot kay katawan man ta. Oh, nabuang ka naman siguro din ha or kung sa Surigao na no, yabag ka naman siguro din ha. Inana. So so ma ma ma, ma, ma depressed na hinung kagsamot, right? But um, if the environment is helpful uh, like for for families, example kay mao man ang pinaka basic unit nato. Um kung naamantay ka ng gap to our parents, so nana ta sa vantage point, swerte kay mo ba? Okay, you have this kind of forum, you have nana mo knowledge, then you can reach out to your parents. That's one, to your family. Listen to your, especially to your mothers. <laughs> Listen to your mothers. Okay, lahi ra yun ang mother, ang iyahang, ang iyahang nature din ha, judge. Ang iha nature. And then, of course, the father like us, no, nga, naapod mi certain uh, qualities po din ha, nga, kinahanglan po nato sabton ang wisdom, or dawaton, hindi ilang sabton, dawaton na nato ang wisdom to your parents, listen to them. That's one. But uh, if you cannot listen to your parents, which basically, burag maumag yun ang atuang stage before, di ta maminaw sa ila, ha, then you select your friends, inana, um, Mona, Mona, ang kana mga basic and then peer counselors if you have that and and then kung if you want to have a, a, a little bit higher na klase na advanced na na, na na help or na services then you can reach to us no dili lang mi mo offer nga sa mga person who use drugs admit outpatient but uh, we also cater for all spectrum of mental health illness. Depression, panic attacks, even um, schizophrenia, pwede na mo na siya i-entertain tagaan ng services. And luckily, naatay, uh, uh, naatay mga facilities for that. Uh, for you, nga, diri sa butuan, naatay sa AFP compound. Naatay uh, outpatient services and aftercare program services nga nahimutang din ha sa AFP compound sa Bangkasi. Bangkasi, ha? Right, right? And then, and then ang katumas intensive, intensive pa po na mga services din ha sa ito ang DTRC Bangkasi, but we also have the, the, the more intensive one dito sa Anomar. Sa, ang, ang facility is called the Department of Health Drug Treatment Rehabilitation Center Barangay Anumar, Surigao City. So that's the first center in Caraga. And then, luckily, nadugangan ang ato ang center. And we have another one in somewhere in Prosperidad, Agusan Sur. So, and also, they also have a satellite office here in Butuan. So, swerte kay mga taga Butuan kay naanatay duha ka center to cater not just a person who use drugs but also the whole spectrum of mental illness. Okay, so feel free to, to visit the facility. As mentioned kaganina, kung di nato ni siya ginaistoryahan, we will be numb. Huwag uh, ma-anesthetize rataani. And then, there's a big problem already in our society. Tapos, deaf and mute paghihapon ta and blind nga to not recognize this kind of problem. Feel free to visit there, to, to visit the offices. And then, and then the, the personnel there and our workers are more than willing to help you, especially capacitating you to, to, to learn some skills, especially for peer counseling, inana kay uh, namatay mga psychologists, uh, psychometricians, social workers, and doctors and nurses who are already experts, especially in counseling, inana. So, mga parents po na sila, and they feel the the magnitude of the problem of uh, substance use disorder and uh, ang, ang amo ang feeling ani kanunay is we have to protect the youth kamuna siya kita di ay no youth ana thank yes, you yes kita po do kita ang youth okay so as what dog said feel free to visit the centers visit lang ha di lang ta na ta magpa-admit. Oh, pero if needed na yun, it's also, di ba? Yes, of course. Okay? Kung okay. na naman yun ta sa sakit, kay kasagaran mong good na ang effect, lagi no, sa shabu, marijuana, and even alcohol, eh, nicotine, denial. Mag, di ni mag-deny ba? Ah, wa, mang, di man ko pala hubog, pala inom lang, pero magsuka-suka na, yabag na. 
Di mako, di mako sige panigarilyo pero baho na kay bad breath na kayo. O kuang kuan ana di ba? So, di mako adik pero ana ana na ang ngipon pangag na. Oh, inana. So, nasa denial. So, whenever nga you, you are there already or you have a friend nga naa na din ha nga illness, ayaw pa na hulata nga makakomit na sila og crime. Kay ngadto na pud mo ana sa sala of the judge, no? Uh, Maghangyo-hangyo pud mo dito kay makuha na rapid. Ayaw na mo paghulat, ipa-admit na na seek help, professional help. But we were not looking na moabot mo ana, no? We are not hoping and prayer na masakit mo ana. As early as now, you you all uh, you have all the information that you need. You can search kay searchable na na tanan sa sa Google, you can even conduct a study. Our facilities are more than willing to help. Kung sa pang gusto niyo explore, you can you can have your exercise your leadership para ma 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 pa advo mag kana tag advocacies regarding this kind of uh, even debate. Pwede po debate, no? Uh, you can organize that para ma historyahan lang yun asa. Let's make uh, 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 noise kung baga. Kung baga, nabasa na ako kaganina sa inyuhang kung fortes in fide, kung sa adma, ang inana, gani? Locks. Burag, let your light shine, shine the brightest. Then, that's the challenge for all of you. Ipakalat ni siya ng mga information so that our youth, you, uh, shall be protected against all these um, um, addictions. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much, Doc. Okay, now, Judge Isa, okay, what advice can you give to our young audience? Young audience, including me. <laughs> okay, what can you give to our young audience to keep them out of trouble with the law? Okay. Um, I think I just want to synthesize uh, what we have learned from this afternoon session. No? From I think it's already a collaborative um, input from the three of us. So first is bias na ko. L, listen to your parents. That is really my plea to the youth now. Of course, generation gap. You also understand your parents kay sometimes even myself, I have difficulty understanding my teenager, no? Because the nature, the ang inyong modern world karon kay puro na gid cellphone, no? Cellphone and then gadgets and then um, I also um, playing computer games. Anak ka ng dugay kay matulog sa kabiin. Kung nga, ay ngani na magiging mga bata noon karon ma, dugay matulog. So, nagig generation gap, no? And then, and, but really, your parents mean well when they look after your welfare para dili ka mapariwara sa imuhang dalan. It's really good to, to listen to your parents. And you will never go wrong yun. Okay, and then second is choose your friends. That's what we are always repeating, no? Kaning atong mga friends good will either make or break you. So just like ako back in my college years, nagid ko yung mga friends since first year until we became lawyers, and then karon nag law school me, and then nag lawyers nami, and then we up to now we are we we continuously keep in touch so it's important to have solid core, core friends nga kanang tinuod gyud nga mga amigo na dili ka ipaadto sa dautan and then finally sa ingon ni doc ganina pray kay really kanang you want to be cool you want to be to belong na magid na yung mga friends nga kanang gusto ta danihon sa mga bad but when you know what is right, when you are grounded sa ginoo, uh, you have strong faith in the Lord, mag, you always ask for His help in times, in moments of temptation, in moments of depression, in moments that you are confused. So, wala siguro to siya ako ma-share. Daghan pa kaayo, kay actually, coming personal experience, gini siya as a mom. But, uh, I just want to take this opportunity to Thank everyone nga nagpabilin gid no so meaning I hope nga inyo gitong ma-remember listen to your parents choose your friends and pray so that's all akong ma-impart ma for okay, now Okay let's give them a round of applause for our guests thank you so much for imparting your knowledge to us now okay pa bata
Yes na yes, how about our online audiences? Okay pa ba ta? Okay pa man guru ta? And now or yes, it's now your time to ask our guests your questions. Now, any brave souls out there na naay question? Yes, there's a mic over there. And yes, you may rise and then ask away. Anybody from the audience? I'm sure you have a lot of questions in mind. Lami na sa giingon ni Judge Gaina. Nga, ma, char. <laughs> okay. Yes, you have questions. Yes, nagsabot sa sila. Let's give them time sa daw. Okay, anyone? Going once. So, wala kong may mangutana o question. I, I, th I just want to share a very recent case, no? Nga pending diri sa court na ako karon. It's a rape case, no? Kay ka ng mga teenager nga overnight, overnight. Na, dagan kay ma... Nga asa sila nag-overnight sa beach. Okay? So, ka ng... I, I, I want to share this sa inyo kay... I'm sure, college, the gunman put na overnight, overnight. So, don't get mad kung dili mo tugutan ni mama or ni papa nga mag-overnight. Kay kabalo na nagid sila on say mahitabuan ng overnight. Kay nga no, magid mag-study nga overnight. Pwede man mag-study good sa, ano lang, sa during the daytime. So, this is a real uh, case na also a student nga mo lagi na, nag -inom, inom sila at the beach instead of mag, mag ano, mag, Ang yung pananghit sa mama mag group study and then ending to aday sa beach. So what happened? Na rape na noon ang isa ka bata because somebody joined them from a stranger. So nabatan on kihapon. So just protect yourself, good. Again, you go back again. Once you lie magud sa imong ginikanan, you're not just lying sa imong parents, but you're lying to yourself. So. That's how important how you kay wala pa man ginangutana so ako na lang gitong gi-share kay para maka-learn pud mo nga coming from the parents point of view nga no dili jud mi mo sugot anang overnight no pwede siguro you can study in the 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 home of one of your classmates pwede pa siguro you introduce your friends to your parents also para makabalo mo kinsa na inyong kauban or kinsa na inyong mga unsa inyong gipangbuhat oh Dagka na kay kong yaw-yaw, no? Kay mama, gin ka ayaw ko, no? Pero yes, wala mong good boy mawala kung if you tell honestly your parents where you are at the exact moment. Kay it's okay, kay ma-worry good na sila. As we grow older, we will realize how important it is for our parents to know our whereabouts because they only care for one thing and that is your safety. Okay, tama ba to, Judge? <laughs> okay, so any questions out there? Kabalo ko, nagsabot-sabot na mo o nanan na sila yung ipakita. Sakto ba niya kung grammar, Jai? Jai? Sige na, pag-ask mo question. Okay, Rakaayo. And of course, you can also um, ask in English, Tagalog, or Bisaya. Kabalo ba mo mag-Korean, ma'am, censor? <laughs> Kaya basi mag na mag-ask their Latin language. We need an interpreter. Yes! Yes, you have a question, dear. Yes, don't be shy. Yes. Palakpakan si ate. Ayan. Yes. Um. Good afternoon. Ang akong question is kana ang since kana ng grabi nagani siya kamurag norms na sa. Sige kayo. Ang karong sa society na to karon nga known jud mostly ang mga drug users as victim. And my question po is, is it possible nga ang mga dili makonsider ang drug users as victim? Po. Any of our guests that wants to... Um, let, let us uh, delineate muna uh, what is, uh, uh, in your perspective, what is victim? Um, kanang wala nila na ano do, kanang wala nila gi... Like, the kanang victim sila, like misinformation, and wala sila knowledge about ana. Ah, okay. W with that kind of uh, uh, understanding, kung pareho to o ganang understanding, I would support yes. Kay in, in my practice, uh, sa mga person who use drugs, uh, voluntary, uh, voluntary admission, or katumangan nadakpan, when conducting a drug dependency evaluation, 
even sa high height na nila no nga mga nagpositive pa sa drug, sa drug or ang katupang or nag-spend na sila sa prison nga na sila yung mga certain realization sa ilaha life the burag 98% ana is uh, wa sila kabalo nga unsay effect sa drug burag burag they, they just out of nowhere they will just use it even even though even though kabalo sila nga na ay balaod mo ni ang general eh, na ay balaod nga makadaot kana nga message but in particular wala sila kabalo unsa ang katang mga effect sa kung balaod mapreso makulong may nana but sa katung effect sa ilaha life sa ilaha brain they don't know that pwede na siya ma-illustrate just like kung kung mamasul ma ganika kanang tawagan na mag fishing there is a bait and you are the fish when you see that one you just grab it and then you're already hooked mao na siya illustration all the time eh. being hook you are the fish you are the victim kaya katung is the victim ato nga nai kuan din ha is a uh, bait kaya ma mahok siya yes i agree with you kay before nga as mentioned nato kaganina especially gi emphasize na ni judge wala mi in ana nga forum wala mi wala ta kamo karon swerte mo na amo ani and if you've listened well or sa listen sa inyo parents ato ang mga parents then you will have that advantage already kaya dili na ta ma fall victim unless lang yun katong naa sa 2% is a deliberate nga mo gamit anang uh, shabu marijuana for for first use kumbaga kay because of out of you wanted to feel the the effect of it but however for the first use katong unang patak is usually uh, they don't know zero knowledge about the effects the pharmacologic effects the medical effects the psychosocial effects of the illegal substance towards their body and towards their life mona siya okay thank you so much that does that does answer the question young lady <laughs> yes of course now knowledge is power and knowledge is key Kisa unsa. <laughs> Kamu na'y magpaigo. Okay, any more questions coming from our audiences? Going once, going twice? Wala na? Well, yes, na. Okay, dear, please ask away. Nay points, basta mag-question. <laughs> Nay points, magsabot sa miselang deans. Sige. Hello, good afternoon. So, nami question uh, from the nursing department. I nursing depart collective question. <laughs> um, kay Mama Judge. Um, regarding um, ma pwede, pwede ba possible ba na ma preso if if gi ubana ni mo ang imong mga friends nga nag gamit og drugs like maapil ba kag preso? <laughs> okay, Judge. But like wala ka nagamit. Wala ka nagamit og drugs. Like imo ka silang giubanan pero wala ka nagamit. <laughs> so it goes back again to choose your friends, no? Like okay, it. so kamalo na gid ka nga naghibuhat og dautan imong friends. So you leave that friend na or you better advise her. But okay, from the from the mother point of view to no, but now I'm speaking as a judge, okay? So generally the it depends if where the drug use was found if it's a it's a drug then kay kanang before man pud na mo mo, mo adto ang mga police ana na man ay surveillance di ba na man ay manmanan man mo ana sa mga police kung uh, kana ba siya nag naghugyop sila diha og droga so karon nag raid ang police didto nag 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 raid sila nag 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 search sila ana nga particular house so na it happens nga naa ka didto then maapil gid ka no but when depends upon kung ma drug test and when you are found positive so you are only charged for drug use pero kung negative then you, you will you may be charged for visiting the drug den 
your presence itself in the in that insti- in that house nga nag-raid ang mga pulis niya na aka dito you will may be charged for visiting drug den so kanang pangutan na pero nga na aka dit nga madakpan ba ka pwede gid kaayo so once kabalo na kang uh, drugs na imong friendly kay na lang gyud mm. okay that's it any follow up questions <laughs> na lang ko'y nadumduman na judge no kay mag Facebook Facebook man pod ko so I came across this video on Facebook I don't know if you have seen it pero murag video siya during the raid and then ang person na involved nagripak ripak <laughs> nagripak siya niya nagtalikod siya and then ang mga pideya na na siyang likod so gihapak siya mo balos na tana siya hapak pero nakam full armor naman dito yung hapak on tana so mato siya onsay kaso niya <laughs> judge hapak nga nagpos nagripak siya so burak possession of illegal possession. drugs illegal possession of illegal drugs so mo gito siya no be careful gid mo sa inyo mga friends kay nag na, look for example grupo mo tapos nag huyop huyop sila nya ikaw ni tanaw ra ka and then it happened nga nay mga police nag raid na maapil jud kag dakop dito your mere presence um, pwede gid ka ma-charge og appeal damay civilian out <laughs> okay any more questions coming from the audience yes you have the two points for nursing program <laughs> Hi, good afternoon po. So, yes. uh, I have a question regarding, uh, I just want to know your opinion po regarding um, legalizing marijuana here in the Philippines. Uh, I just want to know your perspective as a judge and as a doctor, health, um, health uh, yeah, practitioner. As, um, there is really a move no, to legalize marijuana because in other countries like the U.S., Marijuana is being legalized and for, um, for it has been found to be beneficial for medical use. Bura lang ko si Catriona Gray, ane? Ano? Pero so, but in the Philippines, it is still categorized as an illegal drug. So as long as our laws will not be rep- um, amended, then illeg- the use of marijuana will still be continued to be classified as illegal drugs but if you're asking about my personal opinion i cannot uh, comment because uh, I, i do not have any pers- data to support that marijuana will really be uh, beneficial for medical use if I, if i will be given the opportunity to examine data or data will be provided that it has benefits then i might support it so maybe doc can also answer it So, um, aside from a doctor, I'm also a researcher. While in college, I was a researcher. I also work in the OST. And I'm also fond of research. Now, in medicine, I'm also into research. And studies have shown there are a lot of multi-center randomized trials that says that um, marijuana, usually the CBD, cannabi, uh, what do you call that? CBD oil. Um, can use for refractory seizures and other seizure disorders. So um, there are a lot of studies saying that if you use marijuana to these patients, for example, a patient was born with seizure disorder. So medications were given like carbazepam, benzodiazepines, and etc. And still the baby has seizures. Studies have shown that if you incorporate marijuana or the CBD oil to the patient, the patient will have a longer refractory time. That means that the CBD was effective. So that, in my opinion as well, no, um, legalizing marijuana, um, I'm okay with it in terms of medical use. No, I'm against, against, uh, um, against for recreational use or kanang lingaw-lingaw lang. No? For medical use, of course, okay. And even CBD oil, I don't know if you know this, but it's available in Shopee. So, no? C- CBD oil is actually a supplement for a lot of diseases. And actually, it works and it also helps our patients. Okay. Yeah, if, um, yes, uh, in a, in a, um, as a practitioner, uh, I, I think um, we still have to, to follow the law. And then as a... Um, uh, as a, as a medical practitioner as well um, 
since our medi medicines available, pharmaceutical medicines are still available and are still effective to the current uh, diseases or conditions or syndromes that we have in our in, in, in right now, so I, I think there's still no need for the move to legalize this substance. And and beside uh, again the data that uh, that warrant for for the move to to incorporate that in the medical practice, medyo kulang pa, ana pa siya. Mas daghan siya og adverse effect kaysa sa benefits. Siguro ang, ang, ang what happened uh, right now is a uh, although I'm not very uh, I'm not uh, the, the pessimists on uh, side but the what we are looking now are the, the the positive effects of the marijuana but again um, it has it has caused in the, in, the, in history in the past it has caused many adverse reactions or adverse effects pasabot mas nakadaot siya sa ato ang pop, general population or even to a select population who are using the the marijuana um, siguro pag uh, later siguro pag uh, in in the future pag medyo gwapo na ato ang science ang nindot na ang ato ang manufacturing ang extraction then and then the data will support na it is re really beneficial to our population, then why not? Kay in the, um, uh, kumbaga, in reality man sab, uh, most of our medicines comes from nature, mampod. Kaya lang, kailangan lang siya o ka ng ample time na i-develop siya in a natural form, scientific base, data base, research base, Kay para for, for the benefit of all. Uh, sa pagkakaroon, burag alanganin pa. And then, I, I do not advocate for that. Yeah. Actually, Pango Doc, um, um, we don't have any more producers here in the Philippines because what, um, what they use in research is the THC. THC is tetrahydrocannabinoid. So it's the substance that... Um, uh, that, that treats seizures disorder and this substance is not addictive no there's a substance in um, cannabis sativa or the marijuana that is addictive it, and that's not THC that's why it is also legally approved um, sagawas for only medical use and that's THC or the, uh, the, the CBD oil so what is that doc? okay so in general it is subjected to further research but again as what judge Isa said Marijuana is still illegal in our country. No illegal. So, no need to spell out illegal. Japon <laughs> siya. Okay. Now, any more questions? Yes, you have. Yes, come forward, please. So, good afternoon. My question is if a person is severely addict, nababa siya yung chance nga maayo. Like, very severe. Yes, uh, we have a, a lot of uh, severe cases na labi na karun. <laughs> Daganta mga severe cases. Although, um, in reality, reality, re reality check, ang, ang kana mga severe cases nato are, are usually uh, have committed a crime and then nag-spend sila dito sa, sa presuhan kay uh, mas bukat man to ang ilahang crime. But um, there are instances also na na mga voluntary surrender and then and and then um uh no hang you nag, uh, nag what we call plea bargain inana but in a in a medical perspective um this uh mas kinahanglan ni sila kaninga set of patients na severely what what you call the diagnosis there is substance use disorder and then the, the substance methamphetamine, methamphetamine hydrochloride and then with severe dependence kani sila ang mas kinahanglan treatment and rehab. And fortunately, luckily, in our facility in, in Anomar, medyo taas ang ato ang success rate. And then, success rate, what I mean is that the relapse or remission, kanang uh, nag-graduate na sila or na-discharge na sila, and then they're back in, the, in reality in their communities. Ang, ang success rate ato nga, wala sila relapse, Basta maayo lang yun ang iyang support, labi na ang family. Maayo lang yun ang iyang family, and then ang support po niya, 
ang environment, then uh, ma- ang, ang iyahang remission is diminished. However, ang katong physiologic or anatomical structure sa iyaha brain, as I've mentioned kaganina, dili na siya brand new as before, di ba, sa katong sa gadget. Um, na 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 siya ka ng certain disconnections, kumbaga, but, but, This is a uh, one thing. Ang iyahang resilience, ang iyahang um, ang, kung kung sabi sa pa unong ang iyahang uh, ang iyahang uh, adapt, adaptive capacity, understanding or resilience, mas na mas mapaligon niya, mas nakabalu siya, mas na na siya ay, uh, understanding after sa treatment ha and rehab nato sa ano. Ha? mas naa na siya understanding about the disease, about his body, and about his environment. Compared sa mga wala na treat and na rehabilitate, poor ang ilahang progress or ang ilahang healing sa, sa brain, sa physical, o sa, sa thought processing. Um, kaya, what I can say uh, in behalf sa, sa practice, sa, in, sa practice of um, uh, treatment and rehab, mas better as early as uh, as early as possible na ma- ma-treat mo with your addiction mas better kaysa ka nang hulaton pa ang severe na ay chance na ay hope na ma-treat siya kaya lang dili na siya as brand new as before the, on the positive note na alam mo develop pod ang ihang resilience basta lang nindot ang ihang environment Okay, thank you so much, Doc. Any additional? Um, I hope that answers the question. Okay, one last question from our audience. And yes. Tindog na dayun siya. Doduha pa manggod mo na unhan na noon. But it's okay. Ask away. Good afternoon, ma'am. Doc, uh, your honor. If, uh, if after apprehension sa kanang isa kadrag addict mo ba, then makonvict siya sa court, din ang penalty niya is six months of rehabilitation. Asa naman siya pag humanan na, ma'am? Oh, your honor. Sorry, I'm sorry. Your honor. <laughs> The penalty is six months rehabilitation. So, he has to go to and finish his six months rehabilitation program with the DOH uh, accredited facility, whether inpatient or outpatient. So, after that, dako pa kayo na siya nga proseso, no? After he completes the the inpatient rehabilitation program then mo report man siya sa barangay no na manay karang reporting pod sa barangay he will continue with the uh, barangay um, anti drug anti drug kanang program dito sa ihang outpatient na lang dayon siya okay thank you Hopefully, so much dili na mag applicable sa imo <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I think I that's it. We will entertain the last question. Ay, okay. Ay, okay. Ikaw na lang, dear, ang pinakalas. Dili siya makatulog okay, niya, kaya huwag siya nakapangutan na. <laughs> Sige, go. <laughs> Laban kanina, kaya wala yung mag-question. Karun, ganahan na sila. Okay. So, so good afternoon. Um, like, if this is the scenario nga, um, ang addict or ang katong like user is gusto na siya mag-stop sa iyahang bisyo tapos like na stigma nga um dili siya mo go sa rehab kay ang um, lain nang banan aw nga hala basin addict good kay adto og rehab nagpa rehab so like unsay other ka nang pwede nila mabuhat sa mga withdrawal na symptoms that's uh, again kaganina gusto ba mo mutan sa inyong cellphone nga daot dili di ba di ta gusto ana so with our appliances na daot siya so that, that's similarly that's uh, that's our brain already that's the body nga nabasa na sa isa ka sa budin ha then wham so um, it is although it is very common sa maski hilanat lang mga physical illnesses doc di ba we self medicate inana but for addiction it is really dangerous to self medicate even in other physical illnesses or other illnesses no the diseases uh, dili na manamo na gina encourage nga mag self medicate What we can do is first aid. Kay that's acceptable. And then the, the first aid that we can have 
isakto na inyong ginabuhat ang kanang peer facilitators. Kay naaman man siya ikadangpan. So, kana yun mo na ito ang strengthen uh, sa ito ang grassroots. Na siya ikadangpan. So, whenever nga naa na siya problem, naa na siya disease or then guapunta nga maka add siya dito sa ihang first aider and then hopefully, hopefully, the first aider will refer the patient to the professionals in ANA. And I think that's the more acceptable and appropriate way of dealing with with a deceased uh, uh, person who used drugs. Kaysa, pasagdan siya. So kung pasagdan na nato siya, remember, katung gadget nga nabasa, nga di ipaayo, sige na on, sige na charge, what will happen? Buto. Di, mawa na noon siya, mapatay na noon siya, ato siya kay San Pedro in ANA, dili siya sa sa treatment and rehab. Okay? So hopefully, nasabdan na siya. Ha? Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Doc. Did that answer your question? Okay, a round of applause, please, for our guest speakers. That wraps our open forum. But if you do have questions later on, we have our counselors, our nurses, and our facilitators who are there. Pwede rin mo sa ila, and then we'll try our best to answer each and every one of you. Pero ayaw sa karun, later na lang. Okay, so it's really great to see that you're very, or you're showing curiosity to this kind of topics, and I hope that that progresses, no? And I hope you will be the light that will shine to everyone, okay? Okay, now at this juncture, may I call our office directors, Father Michael, Ma'am Jo, Ma'am Marilu, Ma'am Mildred, Dr. Anna Marie, and Ma'am Suzette to join us here on stage for the giving of tokens and certificates. Ayan, a round of applause for our... Heads of offices, ayan mo paso na sila. Kaila ba mo sa inyong doctor, the reassess school? Sir, uh, Doc Epoy is your doctor, di ba Doc? Yes, he is also a doctor here. And we have our very beautiful Doctora Anna Marie. Ayan. Okay, please. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's it. Allow me to read the certificates. Father Saturnino Orius University, Butuan City, Certificate of Appreciation is awarded to Honorable Honorable Isa J. H. M. Tangonan for sharing her valuable time and expertise as a guest speaker during the talk show on substance abuse prevention, drugs, alcohol, and tobacco, given this first day of March 2023 at CBE Function Hall, Father Saturnino Orius University, Butuan City. Signed, Reverend Father James Michael M. Abelianosa, Director, Student and Alumni Affairs. Signed, Engineer Zenaida D. Azura, Vice President for Administrative and Student Affairs. A round of applause for Honorable Isa. The same certificate is also awarded to Dr. Joshua Paul Gamalo. A round of applause, please. And of course, we have the same certificate awarded to Dr. Romulo P. Ibernas. A round of applause, please. Now, may I request our heads? To pose for a picture, ayan. Please join us on stage, ma'am. Okay, na pa daw. Okay na? Yes, okay na. Thank you so much, everyone. And again, on behalf of the FSU community, we thank you for your time and knowledge in today's agenda. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for our guest speakers this afternoon. Ayan. Okay, now to give, her, to give his closing remarks, let's welcome... Let's welcome the Director for Office of Religious Affairs, Reverend Father Joseph Alner Y. Garrido. A round of applause, please. Mayong 
Hapon sa tanan. Sir. As our activity today is about to end, uh, there are three things that I want to highlight. Dili ko magwali ha. Acknowledgement, awareness, and advocacy. First, acknowledgement. Uh, salamat sa itong mga speakers for sharing their expertise and to the FSUU Student Services for organizing this forum. To everyone in the FSUU community for uh, being part of this activity in one way or another. And to all the students who are here. Atong palakpakan, atong kaugalingon. Secondly, this forum brings us to the awareness of the very important discussions on substance abuse, may we realize that substance is not the solution, but it's in fact even the addition of more problems. No, so og ang tinuod nga kalipay is not fleeting. No, usahay mangita tasa kalipay diha depita, and dili po tanan problema mudugay, so dili po na siya ang tubag. And finally, our advocacy is to continue saying no to drugs. Gamay patano si ginata yung no to drugs. Pero naam gihapon sila. It seems like they are not going away. And so I say yes uh, to life also, not just no to drugs. My point is in our discussion today, we highlight that there might be consequences in our actions, especially in substance abuse. Disobedience to the law has consequences. But addicts are also human beings. Uh, they are not someone to be eradicated, but they are persons who need help. They are not devils in flesh, but they can be our neighbors, family, friends, and even loved ones who need rehabilitation because they are lost. And so thank you for being here this afternoon. May this gathering heighten our awareness of the dangers of substance abuse. And our activity today leads us not to condemn, but to be compassionate to people suffering from substance addiction because as sick as they are, they are still human beings and they are still needing uh, recovery. O ingon pa ni Dr. Ganina, bisan pag severely addict na na siya, nagya po siya chance nga mabalik sa iyang normal nga kinabuhi. Once again, may hapon o salamat sa tanan. Thank you so much, Father. Now, before everything else, our post-evaluation link is commented in our Facebook Live. It is now pinned, so you may answer your post-evaluation. And yes, basta mo na to. <laughs> okay, that ends today's show. I hope everyone has enjoyed and learned what today is all about. Keep being informed, be educated, and yes, Keep safe. This has been your host, Maria, and have a great day, everyone.